why does every single time I'm looking up some Lamine content or just anything Lamine in general when it comes to fan work, is she dominates? Why is she dominant all the damn time? I get it advertising wise when it comes to things of Genshin, yeah, she's like the bad guy, but still when it comes down to things, that doesn't necessarily mean she's you know a bad character at the end of the day you can choose which character you follow the story with whether it's ether or lamine i just happen to find it hilarious anytime i'm seeing like a whole ass animation or picture where lamine is basically being the one that's in control whether it's the fact that she's clapping cheeks or she's getting her cheeks clapped because you're thinking oh i'm clapping lamine she Ha, huh, she ain't doing nothing, but maybe she planned that shit because why she has a devious smile on her face? I don't necessarily know. It's very concerning. And don't get me wrong, there's other times and moments in fan art where, you know, Lamine's being the submissive one, but there's a lot of times where I've seen her be more dominant, honestly. And it, it just like, but how, how did this come to be? Like her whole dark persona and these Gentile versions of her, it reminds me of like how Tori Meadows from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zex will be in these doujins, how she just basically just be having her eyes faded and just be nothing about just getting the whole piece of meat inside of her, honestly. For example, there's a whole ass animation of just Lamine clapping Sucrose or vice versa, Sucrose clapping Lamine. But at the same time with both of those variations, Lamine is always in charge because even when she getting her cheese clapped, she pushed it onto Sucrose. And yeah, Sucrose did fight back a little bit, you know, trying to pump herself up and do what she got to do inside of Lamine. But at the same time, Lamine was still in control. She wanted Sucrose to do that shit. And there's like whole doujins out there where she just definitely being, again, the one that's clapping some other people, honestly. And some of the doujins, I think one of them I remember was like, she was taking control of like Ganyu or Kaching, honestly, or maybe both of them and then she was just on some devious ass energy on that and it's just like damn how much chi clapping do you need to do is this a part of you being the abyss princess damn you really about to take them to the damn abyss and here i'm thinking who tao was the only person that could bring them to a dark place but here you go trying to be the damn booty warrior out here like i like how lamine and everybody else when it comes to riz is so different like ether has hero protagonist riz so of course it's gonna meet up with a different bunch of characters kazuha has actual riz and actually knows what he's doing but lamine has molester is literally <laughs> the fuck? salutations baby brother your big sister has researched the laws of this room thoroughly and has finally discovered a loophole don't you have a restraining order it's not incest if it's begging so spread that fresh celestial bussy wide ether wait The chief called and he said this ain't it. And hell, really, Ether ain't safe either, considering the fact that there is some incidents and pictures where freaking Ether is getting banged by literally Lamine. And Lamine's like, think of the bloodline, brother. Hell no. Nah. Well, then again, if, if Lamine was my sister, I might have to do so. But there's even one picture where Lamine basically dressed up as Kaching just to slide close to her brother just so she can get a baby or something like that and it's just like hey yo how desperate is this woman i'm not necessarily gonna hold you again if this this was this was something that you had to deal with i don't necessarily know if i could necessarily manage this i'm not gonna lie she's this damn devious honestly you are whipped honestly but then again she kind of fine so it's kind of okay to be hell now that i think about it there was like another animation where lemmy was basically in charge again except it was with i guess you or technically the you in that video and it was like an hmv and essentially it had like eula i think lisa jean and rosaria if i'm not mistaken and essentially what happened is it's just lemme just banging the characters with you and it's just like she's devious again why is she so damn devious at least this time she was you know being under, under control by that guy which was all right but still at the same time she was still being devious as hell the whole video i can just summarize it as time and asagi but a musical and Lamine was just Oboro. That's literally how it was. Thinking about it a little bit more, I can kind of see why people made some things about her like this, considering the fact that there has been moments in Genshin where she's been sassy or she's seen through some disguises and just been a complete ass to other people. But when it comes down to things, still, you wouldn't think you would, by all that stuff, would just go ahead and just, you know, 
make Lamine some dominant mommy in some shape and form, right? Like, honestly, if you just look at Lamine, she doesn't even look mommy material. But when it comes down to things, they made her mommy material for some reason. Like, she's more MILF than Shogun at this point. Kujo Sara should be simping for her instead of Raiden. I ain't gonna be holding you. Oh, and let's not even forget about the greatest ship in all of all time which is Sonic the Hedgehog and Lamine. Let's just get this clear. There has been that whole controversy where Genshin Impact was, you know, fighting against Sonic Frontiers during the whole Game Awards thing. That was still a hilarious thing. But when it comes down to things, Genshin ended up winning still. But point is, when it comes down to things, it spawned fan work. And people just started hating the whole ship and just started forgetting the beef just because of that one damn ship, which honestly, that was hilarious and fun as hell. And also the Japanese I believe the Japanese or Chinese VA end up saying that they wanted Sonic as a boyfriend and which also played Lamine so that also kind of had a hand in things and even with Sonic the Hedgehog can you guess what type of position Lamine was in and a position of power because she's still over here taking charge of Sonic the Hedgehog dude even so much as so is dicking this man down to the point it's dick beyond the stars it's not necessarily making any kind of sense but honestly do I expect anything different from this shit much less I mean like this is the same character in fan art form who has had who has had the whole Game Awards trophy shoved up her ass like it was an anal bead. Demon. But anyway, that's essentially what I have for you today. I don't know why I decided to make this, but point is, Lamine's a demon. And let's be honest, she needs to be stopped because she's going to F us all, literally. So when it comes down to things, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on your way out. You might, you might see some more videos like this. I don't know when I'll drop these. I don't know why I keep continuing to think weird shit, but sometimes I may make it into video form. Who necessarily knows? That's why you should subscribe. But also, I do have Patreon and Twitter as well. In case you want to check those out, links are in the description. And until then, it's your boy Jay, signing off. Have a blessed day.